What is going on there, buddy? It's Mr. AGZ here, bringing you a Pokemon battle here. This time, we're up against Tim and Becca, and I have a partner here. His name is Evan. Absolutely awesome guy. You can check out his, um, <laughs> he's actually got his own channel thing going on. Go ahead and check him out also, guys. I'll put a link in the description. All right, well, Tim's coming in with Clawitzer. He's also got Dragonite, and oh my word, an Electros. <laughs> Becca has Absol. She's also got Lapras and Espeon. That Lapras is not something we normally expect, but you know what? Maybe she's got a plan for him. Or her. I don't know. I don't know if it's a her or a him Lapras, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come in with Landorus, my Conkledor, and my Tyranitar. Evan's going to go ahead and come in with Configura, Cofagrigus, there we go, Rotom Ice, and Blastoise. So how does this battle turn out? Well, here we go. Let's find out. <laughs> I remember it was a good battle. A very, very good battle. Becca and Tim issues a challenge. Becca sends out her Espeon, and Electros comes out. Now, in case you didn't know, Electros has one weakness, and that's ground. Unfortunately, since he's got the Levitate ability, no ground attacks are going to be able to hit him. So, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> Unless you knock him down or smack him down. Alright, so... Dazzling Gleam comes in. It hurts us a little bit, but not enough to take us out. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn this, this Espeon and be able to take it out because U-turn is a bug attack, and it's super effective on psychic attacks. Also, it allows for me to switch out and send in someone else that my opponent may not be expecting. So Electros is there, and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Conqueror. Conqueror comes in, and here comes the Volt Switch. Volt Switch is on Asura, or the Cofagrius. Cofagrius, whatever you want to call it. The Coffin, okay? <laughs> and Crawdon comes out. Okay, so Crawdon's out. We've got this burn damage going on Crawdon. And you can see here, Asura has... Lefties! So Asura gets Lefties. Crawdon is damaged by his burn. And Becca sends out Lapras. Now, Lapras against me is not something you really want to have out there. Cotton's going to go ahead and run knockoff. That is going to go ahead and take out Asura. But it's also going to take out Crawdon's um, adaptability <laughs> because of mummy. So, Crawdon is now mummified, if you will, with the knockoff. Lapras is going to go ahead and run Frost Breath. That's going to be a crit hit. But even a crit hit, since I'm resistant, is not going to do well. I'm going to go ahead and Drain Punch this Crawdon. It's going to be enough to take him out because it's super effective because he's a dark type. He's dark water. Now, Crawdon's mummy is going to change my guts, so now I'm mummified. So mummy goes everywhere. <laughs> mummy is prevalent. And Electros comes right back in. So... My partner brings out LG, which is Rotom Ice. He's going to go ahead and run that Thunderbolt attack. It's going to do a little bit of damage. Lapras has Thunder. <laughs> thunder hits me. I'm able to take it really well. Here comes the Flamethrower. That hits LG. LG is able to take that really well. I'm going to go ahead and Drain Punch. You know who I'm going for. This Lapras. Lapras damaging me. Give me my health back. <laughs> Takes me back up to full health. So now we got to deal with this Electros and a few other pokes. Becca sends out Absol. Absol, this nice, shiny Absol, by the way, is going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. Absol, even after Mega Evolving, is still Dark-type, not Dark Fairy like some people think they are. I'm going to go ahead and Mock Punch him, and that's going to be enough to do over half damage. Here comes a Dark Pulse. That's going to hit LG. He's going to be able to take that. Thunderbolt comes in. Goes for Absol. We're able to finish off Absol. Absol done and out. So now all we have to worry about is this Electros. Here comes another Flamethrower. That's going to be enough to take out LG. LG, that Rotom Ice, can't handle a Flamethrower. But understandably. In comes Shellshock. The Blastoise. We've got to handle this Electros. Now I'm thinking, okay, well that Electros is bound to go for that Blastoise. He couldn't. He wouldn't attack me. Would he? Would he? I don't know. So Shellshock's going to go ahead and run this Water Pulse. Go for the Confusion. Doesn't happen. It does a lot of damage. Here comes Thunderbolt. It hits Shellshock. And 
does way more damage than it should have. I'm gonna go ahead and run Drain Punch. It's gonna be enough to take out Electros. Electros is done and out. One poke left. Who's it gonna be? It's Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight's gonna go ahead and get this extreme speed off. That's enough to take out Shell Shock. Now, me being Conkodor, none of my attacks are really gonna do well. But Knockoff here is gonna help out because I figured he would have weakness policy. Sure enough, he had weakness policy. I go ahead and switch out. I bring in my Landorus. Landorus gets that Intimidate off. It's going to lower his attack because I figured he was going to run Dragon Dance. And sure enough, there's Dragon Dance for you. <laughs> Able to predict on this is golden, if you will. Works out really well. Dragon Knight's going to go ahead and run Outrage. And luckily for him, it takes out my Landorus. I say that because my rocks should have got him. So in comes Tyranitar. I'm going to go ahead and get the sand up. The sand stream. Now I've got to hope I can take out this, this super strong <laughs> Dragon Knight. I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. Might as well get every little bit of defense I can possibly get here. Here comes the Outrage. Oh man, look at this. Takes me down halfway. Don't miss the Stone Edge. Here comes Stone Edge. It is enough to take out Dragon Knight, and luckily, since it didn't miss, uh, we are able to pull off the win. So, good game here with Becca, Tim, and Evan, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. What would you have done, done differently? Let us know in the comments section, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. And then, in addition to that, guys, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It shows me that you appreciate what I'm doing and that you'd like to see some more videos. You can also check out some of my other videos here on my channel. We have links here to Pokemon Battles, Pokemon Livestream videos, and to my Titanfall playlist in case you want something different. To keep up with all my uploads and show your support, please share this video and subscribe to Mr. AGZ to join in on the GZ Army. We livestream Saturdays, Sundays, and Wednesdays. Alright guys, until next time, later.